Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to know about this famous examination which we all consider as APEA MSET, which is now officially changed as, for now, it is officially changed as APEA PCET. So this examination is now considered to be the most challenging task. Why so? Most of the candidates whilst preparing for the examination would not have a clear perspective of the examination pattern and what are the various topics that they have to consider for preparation. Now in this video, we are going to know the examination pattern for AP, EAP, CET as well as the syllabus which is related to it. You would know for each of the subject what are the different topics that you have to consider for preparation so that this will make your preparation much more easier. In order to access all of this in one page, all you need to do is head over to our website exams.freshesnow.com. So for that, you should first visit to Google and search for AP EAPCET syllabus Precious Now and here you would be getting the first link. So as we all know, AP EA MSET is now changed into this particular name. The examination name is further changed. It is also called as AP EA MSET before. Click on the first link as it is given here. You would be landing up into this particular page. Here you would have a basic understanding about the information of the exam. So as we all know the examination, we would be now heading over to the main information or the main criteria that we are looking for that is examination pattern look over to this page and you would be getting all of the details here in one space now before i head over to the details i would like to tell you all to join our telegram channel where we would be providing all of the essential details of entrance exams at one place itself so that students or candidates whoever are looking forward for these entrance examinations might not be having their head all over the place also don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button below so that you would be further not missing out on any of the important videos like this so now let's get over to the examination pattern just to give you an overview the name of the organization is Jawaharlal Nehru Technology University and the name of the examination is Common Entrance Test for Engineering, Agriculture and Pharmacy Courses EAPCET. This is a state level entrance exam and if you want to know more or if you want to cross check the information which is provided you can always head over to the official website which is CETS dot apsche.ap.gov.in and you have to keep a slash and then EAPCET obviously. So the examination pattern is as follows. From this section you would be getting an overall idea about all of the details for the exam. Make sure that you are having the time for the examination which is going to be for three hours and no separate time would be given to any of the candidates so you have to maintain this time frequency the sections and the marking criteria is as follows under this three hours examination your subjects of marking is going to be for three subjects which is physics chemistry and mathematics there would be total of 160 questions for 160 marks however each subject is carrying different credential of marks which is for physics you have 40 questions carrying for 40 marks chemistry it is the same but for mathematics you have 80 questions carrying for 80 marks so this is the examination pattern for engineering only next you have agriculture and pharmacy for agriculture and pharmacy, you have four subjects that is botany, zoology, physics and chemistry. 160 questions again for 160 marks. So here you have botany 40 for 40 questions. So all the sections are carrying the same for botany, zoology, physics and chemistry. It is the same 40 questions, 40 marks in each. So total counting for 160 on 160. Next we have the syllabus that is related to this. Now we would be covering all the subjects in order. So first starting with engineering, agriculture and pharmacy topics. Starting with mathematics. In mathematics you have different topics that are algebra, trigonometry, vector algebra. Then you have measures of dispersion and probability, coordinate geometry, calicus. 
So all of these are major topics. Then physics, you have physical world, units and measurement, then motion in a straight line, then inner plane, loss of motion, work, energy and power, what are the systems and the practicalities which are related to motion and oscillations, gravitation, mechanical properties of solids, fluids and matter, then thermal properties which are related to it, thermodynamics and kinetic theory, waves, rays, optics and optical instruments and then you have electrical charges and fields, electrolytic uh, potential and capacitance, current electricity, moving charges and magnetism. Then you have alternating current, electromagnetic waves, dual nature of radiation and matter, atoms, nuclei, communication system, semiconductor electronics. So all of these topics are related to physics. Now we are stepping over to the next subject which is chemistry. Now for chemistry you have various other topics that are related to it. So all you have to do is to make sure that you are covering out all of the topics which are mentioned here. So under chemistry you have topics like atomic structure, classification of elements and period periodicity of the properties, chemical bonding and molecular structure, the states of matter, then uh, sorting chemistry and then thermodynamics chemistry equilibrium and uh, then you have uh, hydrogen and its compounds the block elements so these block elements again they are divided into different sections which are s block p block then you have in this block elements again it is divided into elements and groups so you have group 13 group 14 and then what are is the families that are related to it boron family carbon family etc solid states and solutions and surface chemistry p block elements again block elements again separately under the sub criteria of the topics which are given here then you have biomolecules organic compounds then all of these are topics which are related to chemistry then we are now heading over to the next section which is also given into the next particular paper under agriculture which is botany Diversity in the living world, structural organization in plants, reproduction, plant systematics, cell structures, the internal organization of plants, what is the ecology, physiology, microbiology of plants, genetics and then molecular biology, biotechnology, plants, microbes and the human welfare which is related to the plant community. Then we have zoology which is again starting off with the diversity of the living world where you would be focusing on the fundamentals and also the evolution of the animal world. Then you would be knowing the structural organization in animals, the diversity which is related to animals. Here you have two different parts, animal diversity one and two, different covering up the various concepts which are related to it. Locomotions and the reproductions in protozoa, the biology in human welfare, ecology and environment, human anatomy. So in human anatomy, you have human anatomy and physiology. In this, you have various concepts which are related. That is why it is divided into part one and and part 2 separately. Make sure that you are covering each of the parts in your preparation. Then you have genetics, the applied biology. So with this we have concluded the syllabus for this examination. If you have further concerns regarding this make sure you are placing now in the comment section. Hit that like button if you have liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.